who's joining the party? Cleopatra is. <laughs> Welcome, one and all, to the gathering of those who are utterly unimportant. Hmm. I'm still peeved at you for your little prank earlier. But I can't resist a good gala. I'd like to raise a mug in tribute to us. Unimportant. Can you please clarify for our benefit, Gilda? Yes. Well, of course, none of you are all that crucial to life here at Elsinore. A bitter drop to swallow, but, well, I've swallowed mine already. I thought we ought to celebrate ourselves for once and drink to our own health, because no one else will. Yeah. Nonsense. I've served my lord's house faithfully since I was just a lad. I'm the useful man in in his retinue. In his retinue. Oof. If your lord finds you so useful, why does he ask you to guard the bedchambers and empty walls? Uh, because, well, don't answer it, just think about it. And drink. Oh, and I expect you think you're so important to the queen? <laughs> I'm an old woman. I've no time to debate my own importance to the world. Death is coming soon for both of us. Aww. Well, that's horribly morbid. Lady, I like your style. And what of you, Playmaster? Are you going to sit around and let a bunch of girls call you useless? Ah. My good Marcellus, how kind of you to call upon me. As a master of the stage, my position is behind the curtains, out of sight and mind. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but our baby boy cat just screamed. We just got a little four-month-old cat just this last week. They have such a nice high-pitched scream. Such a kitten scream. Therefore, I have little interest in this debate. Gilda. I'm ever so slightly concerned about your mental state at the moment. A toast to celebrate how useless we are. Isn't that odd? <laughs> Not at all. You see, when I realized nobody had come to my funeral, I was crushed at first. But after that, I felt... Free. Free to do whatever I wanted, to go wherever I felt like going. No longer afraid of death. And if I die, I die. I won't know I'm dead anyway, will I? It's silly to be depressed by it. I see. Yes, this is starting to make a little sense to me. You know, I found it a relief to be of little importance at court, with the rate at which this particular family seems to, um encounter unfortunate accidents I don't think I'd like to be of much significance yeah exactly so let's drink and I'd like to give a special toast to Ophelia who helped me realize all this anyone got a deck of cards could get a game going <laughs> play against me only if you're eager to lose everything in your pockets you're on, old woman. I'll run and fetch some. Gilda, won't you refill my glass? <sighs> How long was I out? Um. An hour, maybe? The others picked up and left. I thought I ought to wait for you to rouse. Although you did look cute sleeping. <laughs> Thank you. Gildenstern is definitely gay. And the party went well, didn't it? That it did, partner. Hmm. It's rather late. I'd better turn in for the night. Ophelia. Thank you. I hadn't thought I'd find another friend before the end of my life. But I have. I suppose that makes me a pretty lucky girl. And the same for you. Good night, Gilda. Soon she won't remember me. That is sad. That was a really nice moment. But yeah, they won't remember us in another time loop. 
<sighs> Lady Gildenstern now believes that she is unimportant to the flow of time. So what did that do? Not that. Uh, for the Gildenstern is dead lead. It's still not finished. I attended Gilda's little party, and at the end of it, I realized something horrible. She's going to die in earnest aboard that ship. They both are. And I have the power to save them. I can get on board and ensure Gilda lives. But first, I need to make sure I'm present when Hamlet and company sail for England on Saturday morning. Wait. What? I think this was written expecting me to have seen something that I haven't seen. I'm present when Hamlet and company sail for England on Saturday morning. Saturday morning the last day? No, it's Sunday. I don't think I've ever gotten to Saturday with Hamlet alive, though. Or if I have, I just haven't seen that event happen. I didn't know that they were leaving on that day or sailing or that they apparently die on that day. Um, spoilers, journal. She's going to die aboard that ship. I have the power to save them. I don't know how they die. How can I save them? <laughs> I can get on board and ensure Gilda lives. Okay, so Saturday morning, I need to be there when Hamlet and company sail for England. Okay. I'm making a lot of progress on these quests. What should we do now? Horatio and Bernardo. What are they going to talk about? Um, what's coming up on the timeline? Oh, actually, we are close to the well. The wishing well, perhaps? Gertrude mentioned she'd hit, hit Brit's letter somewhere with unheard wishes. A wishing well does make sense. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let me see. Ah. There's a loose stone inside the well. And here they are. I'll bring these to Brit as soon as she's free. So this is going to make Brit like me, obviously, quite a bit. But also it's going to ruin their relationship with Gertrude. So what are they going to do as a result of that? They are still a spy, right? Or if they would want to kill Gertrude. I don't know. Oh, that's a very short event. Let's go there. Now. Can I even make it there in time? Might as well bring Brit these letters now. Brit. I have something for you. What are these? Is this... Are these real? They're from my mother. Some of these are months old. Where did you find them? They were hidden inside the well on the grounds. I believe they were hidden there from you. I see. Gertrude hid these from me. And I thought I was the cruelest bitch I knew. Evidently not. Mother wrote me every day, and she hid them from me. She lied to me. Only because she thought she was keeping you happier by denying them to you. Ugh. Happy? The first month I came here, I wept every night, alone and afraid. How is that happy? I heard nothing from my mother and thought she had abandoned me, forgotten me completely. Now I learn it was all a lie? Uh. What kind of... she just... <sighs> I hate Gertrude. Why won't you leave me alone? Why did you keep doing these things for me? You think you can run a couple errands and suddenly we're bosom-born sisters? You... you... Stop. Leave me alone. I don't want to be friends with anyone in this castle. Has it ever occurred to you that I don't need you? 
What if you get to know me and you don't even like the real me? The person I really am? You'll just be disappointed. I'm going to town as soon as I can. I need a drink. And if you dare tell anyone you saw me leaving the castle, I'll slit your damn throat. And don't you dare follow me there either. Lady Britt now wants to avoid Ophelia. Mm, what has happened with this lead? Gertrude hid letters from Britt's mother. Um, uh, Britt was not happy with them having been kept from her when I delivered them. Unfortunately, it seems doing just one thing won't be enough to get Britt to open up to me. I'll have to figure out a couple different things to do. Yes, I should speak to Horatio about the painting stuff. Yeah. Oh, Horatio's just right in there. When are you going to town, by the way? Is that an event? That's no, not listed. To Horatio. Listen. You and Britt both often spend your days in the gallery. Have you spoken to her closely? Certainly. Do you know what ails her? It is a malady of the soul. Lady Britt and I are kindred spirits in that way, you know. Did you know she's an artist? And quite a good one at that. But she's been disallowed from painting. Artists who aren't doing work waste all their time being poisonously jealous of those who are. It's a shame about all her oils. I wonder if she'll ever get them back. Oils? You mean oil paints? Yes. When she came here, I understand her father confiscated them all. She wasn't to use them within Elsinore. I had no idea. Couldn't she have made more? Of course. New tools are made easily enough. But Brit is not one to ask for help. If you're looking to lend Madame Artiste a hand, I can be of service. I've got the pigments to make colors but I'll need bases for the oils, some canvas materials, and some charcoal. Luckily, all highly procurable. I'll need some eggs, charcoal for sketching, and some linen cloth for canvas. Hmm. Linen. I've got a number of undergarments made of this stuff. Um, let me know when you've found everything and I'll assist you with the finer details. Horatio needs supplies to make an artist's kit. Okay. Now, we're making a lot of progress on this quest. Wait, what did it add? Oh, that's weird. It didn't add the new thing to the bottom of the entry. It added it up here. Horatio offered to help make new paints together in order to replace the ones that Brit used to have. Apparently, they need charcoal, eggs, and linen. Pretty sure I can get some linen from my drawers, but I'll have to find a source for the other two. Well, let's... Go to my place first, I guess. My dresser? I'm partial to this gown, though. This is a perfect source of linen. Horatio can use this to make canvas. Uh, I'll use one of my older garments. You better not be going to... Are you going to burn notes, you fucker? I bet you are. Hold on. Bernardo has summoned you. Fuck off. Father. Woohoo! Of course at once. Do you really mean at once? No, you don't, do you? God damn it. Burn. Father. I don't know how stop. to make them stop. No one must know. Ah. <sighs> I guess I have to tell... I think I need to tell somebody else about those notes. To get somebody else to stop Polonius from doing it or something? I don't know. Anyway, obviously it's not... It's a lost cause in this timeline. There will be many more. What's going on over here? Irma Gertrude and Hamlet. This must be... Related to... Um, uh, discipline. I should go there now.
still happening. I hate you. I loathe you. No. Oh, Irma's actually hiding. So they're not like part of the conversation. Be silent at once. Bitch. Oh, Jesus. I'm worried where this is going. You be silent, bitch. What the? Oh, they were... They were just pushed down. I thought for a second they were stabbed or something. You will rob me of nothing more. Yeah, so discipline really, really did not work. You've gone too far, my boy. Too far for even the Lord's greatest forgiveness. A son who would treat his mother so is utterly without any redeeming light. My lady. My lady is blind with her pain. I must staunch this bleeding wound on her behalf. And unlike Goethe, I am far less patient. Gertrude becomes upset but will recover overnight. Gertrude now wants to avoid Hamlet. Irma now wants to destroy Hamlet. Does that mean Irma's going to try to kill Hamlet? Learn about a future event in which Irma seeks guidance from God about Hamlet. When is that going to happen? Well, just a little bit from now. Uh, Bernard's going to question him father. I don't think I care about that. Maybe I do. Maybe I should be there for that. I can't talk with them when they're upset, right? No. Okay, I need charcoal. And I need eggs. Where? Where would I find those things? Charcoal? Uh, I mean, maybe that could come from a burned out fireplace? Eggs? The kitchen? Yeah, that'd definitely be the kitchen. Food. Various herbs, ingredients, and salted meat. All of Irma's raw materials. Ah, there's some eggs here. Better collect them to give to Horatio. Don't suppose I can just reach into the live... The live hearth. Rarely seems... What did that say? Wait, this is the perfect source of charcoal. Better collect some to give Horatio. Wait, what? I know I have everything Horatio needed. I just need to find time with he and Brit when he and Brit were both free. How did... Sorry? I uh, Maybe I skipped something important there. How did you get charcoal out of a fire that's currently burning? Now then. That's as good of a time as any to bring these supplies to Horatio. Horatio. I've collected what you asked for. Uh, can you make the supplies? You said you would. Ah. Of course. Give me just a moment. You. What are you two idiots doing? I have a permanent reservation on loitering here, alone. Uh, actually, Brit, we brought you a gift. I know you weren't able to find painting supplies here, so I've created some with Horatio's help. Now you can paint and draw again. <gasps> what? Why would you... Ugh. Great. Just great. It's so fittingly self-centered that your reaction to Please leave me alone, Ophelia. I don't want to become friends was to try and do even more. Maybe after I've actually had that drink, I'll be able to better explain how insufferable you are. Okay, great. That was successful, I guess. <laughs> oh, we're finally done with that. I've succeeded. I had to perform a couple little acts of service, but I can sense that I'm getting to her. She said she plans... Plans... Plans head? Plans to head to the Castle Town Bar. If I can catch her there, perhaps after we'll finally be able to talk. The Castle Town Bar. When? 
where? Um, I don't see it anywhere here. I mean, like, we're talking about the town outside of here, right? How do I leave? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, what's next? Your missing is guidance from God about Hamlet. Please, my lady. You battered her aside, Lord, as if she were nothing. But she loves him more than anything in the world. What do you want me to do, Lord? How shall I carry out your justice? Must I not strike evil when I see it? For surely the boy is evil. I see the devil within him. Please help me. Help me to kill him. But I don't need you to guide my hand. This is the sort of dish I understand how to make. Damn. <laughs> this is the sort of dish I understand how to make. That's a good line. So, Hamlet's gonna die. Surely Irma will be jailed after that. Ah, oh, Bernardo's questioning father. Let's be there for that? Yes. My lord. My good lord Polonius. A pleasure as always. Uh, how can I help? <laughs> my lad. How can I help, my lad? Is this about the king's troubling suspicions? Indeed. You know as well as I how rattled he's been lately. And as you are the man closest to him, I must ask you what you know of any threats to the crown. I'm afraid I know precious little. I'm by his majesty's side all day. And what of the times when you aren't by his majesty's side? Ah, in my few spare personal hours... I'm often locked in my room. I've a right to my privacy. Rest assured that I've given His Majesty my weight in loyalty thrice over, as I did to his brother before him. Hmm. To whom would you be more loyal had you the choice? I would. Well, that's not entirely a fair question. Were His Majesty Hamlet still alive, King Claudius would be but a king in waiting. My apologies. Pardon my forwardness, Lord Polonius. You're right, of course. You're free to leave. Thank you, Guard Captain. Best wishes, Lord Polonius. Learn about a future event in which Polonius destroys old and dangerous documents. Wait, what? But they already destroyed them, did they not? Where's this event? Yeah, there is no event. What are you talking about? I feel like if I don't want Polonius to destroy the documents without involving another person, I would basically need to somehow convince them that everything is fine. They see like anytime they're pushed into thinking like, wow, stuff is getting really serious. Things are getting bad in terms of spies, dangers, secrets coming out anytime, basically anytime Polonius gets stressed at all and is worried about anything, they're like, mm, well, got to burn those documents. It's a wonder the document survived so long. <laughs> Father and the king plan to catch Hamlet. I don't know what that means. But let's be there for it, shall we? What's happening over here? Oh, the conversation between Gertrude and Horatio. Yeah. What's happening in there? Oh, that's the uh, sort of, not an argument, I guess discussion about faith between Bernardo and Horatio. My ladies. Tell me, did you learn anything about the origins of Hamlet's insanity? Wait, have we seen no. this before? Yeah, we have seen this. Yes. King Claudius now wants to investigate Hamlet. Is, sorry, is this the event? 
<laughs> no, no, that's not the event. Yeah, it's going to happen here, but just a little bit later. Here we go. Hamlet. All recent events have made it clear Hamlet is dangerous and must be dealt with. Perhaps it's time we fulfill his request to be sent away. Yes, sir. Back to university at Wittenberg, you mean? Wittenberg? No, no. The prince deserves to see new sights, don't you think? I was thinking England. Something like assisting on a diplomatic endeavor. On behalf of the Danish throne, that is. My lord. I recommend a bit of targeted spying first. Maybe we can learn something that will help us. Hmm. Very well, Polonius, if that is what you think best. I shall give you another chance to prove yourself. Let us hope you learn something of use. Yes. Perhaps if we catch him and my daughter together, I can finally show my theories are justified. Hmm, yes. Wait, so what's your plan going forwards, Polonius? How are you going to catch us together? They don't seem to have any specific plans right now. Damn, I've done so much on this loop. Really happy with how this loop is going. And I also think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return... Well, there's nothing else really on the timeline that I want to see happen, but... Certainly things are going to happen. Like at some point? Question mark. We're going to go with Lady Brit outside. To the town? To the tavern? Question mark. Something like that. That should be interesting. Especially if there's a possibility that Lady Simone is out there. Maybe Lady Simone is Lady Brit's mother. <laughs> Probably not. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed so far and I'll be back soon.